kind of reminds me of something I was going through. Well, it's about a month before I uh, started dating my ex-wife. I was, uh, I was in my dorm room. It was a Sunday afternoon. I was kind of down and out. And my, I had a buddy of mine named, named Kevin. He'll be, he'll be mentioned in the 100s, you know, from college. And he take me to this little bench by the bus stop at the, the fountain and everything at the entrance of Texas Tech. And he said, well, Jimmy, what are you doing during all this time that you're sitting around open? And I told him. He said, Jimmy, man, love you. But you need to reform your mind mindset. You need to picture what you want. And then you need to go after it. You need to picture what you want and you need to go after it. I'll tell you something. <sighs> this blind boy don't play. I've been called every name in the book. I've been bullied. <sighs> People at some point begin to think that they can, you know, wear a road over me. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give any particular instances that are going on right now. Right now, and what I'm going through right now is, is personal hodgepodge. So I think one thing that I need to do is center myself in the right mindset. Okay? You think about what's available at the leadership ship, ship triangle. The mindset is important for you to begin to grasp. Okay? I hope you begin to see that. Because... Because I deeply care. I deeply care. <sighs> Get some books on mindsets. You know, read what you can absolutely read about informing your mindset. I'm, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to. I'm not going to give you a challenge that I'm not willing to try myself. Okay. So I hope you're ready. You know, one thing this trip taught me is that I needed to reform a mindset. I was in a set mindset. Oh, things will never change. And everything is just bad all around, you know. Come on. And then the power outage hit, you know. The power outage hit, and then after that, and we settled down from that, we began the trip to Port Aransas. And I'm going to tell you something, it's like, it's like a light bulb went on in me. Do you want to go crazy Jedi style on your mindset? Do you want to? Are you ready to tell yourself I can? I must. I will. Because can't, should, and ought. Ah! Not a good idea. Not a good idea. <sighs> if I had an appropriate sound effect to go with that, I would use it, but... I don't but I'm going to tell you something there's there's nothing like a positive mindset this pod, my, my podcasting has really evolved it started out as rods and suits and then it changed over to empower your pattern I thought it was going to stay there forever I found out that there already is an empower 360 but it's not a it's not a um, it's not a podcast that I know of. It's a um, it's a health services company, and so the way I see it, three hundred and sixty degrees can be a pattern, a portal. If you think about it, Robert Kiyosaki in his book Rich Dad Poor Dad he talks about the power of the jewel, the power of the sword, and the power of the mirror. And what he says in his thesis is so true. 
Mirror's better. And you're like, oh, Jimmy, come on. <laughs> Man, g give me a damn break. Okay? Don't get mystical on me. Whatever you do, don't get mystical on me. I'm walking out here. We're we'll taking a little walk. I'm not telling my family where I'm going. But I'm going to speak the truth here, okay? Speak the truth. So many people, the average person spends a lot of hours watching mindless TV. I feel like I've got to learn something new every time. Even if it's some of the same shows that I like and everything, it's something new to learn. Anyway. We all know that we all have our work to do. You know? Gotta make hay while the sun shines. Well, let me tell you something. Once you've gotten into a good routine, stick with it. Take care of your body. Have some gratitude. Just really step into it, guys. You can do this. By the power of God's grace, you can do this. So, I hope, I hope that you're ready to hear more about mindset. We don't have much longer, but I'm going to say this. <laughs> if things are going crappy, and you're complaining because... Oh, things just ain't ever the same, and, and, I just, I'm just ready for some, some good change, and some adventure, and nobody cares, and blah, 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 come on, give me a break. Because I know that you can do better. That you can be better. You're not listening to this program so you can fart around. Not. You're not listening to this program so you can fart around. You know what you want. Okay? You know what you want. I'll tell you something. My 51 years has been quite an adventure. But not so much as maybe my 51st year. I gotta say. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. You want that feeling of accomplishment inside you? That feeling that you know... That you can succeed. That feeling that you know, hey, take no excuses, take no prisoners, get things done now. Do you want that? Come on, then, let's go after it. Okay? Let's not waste any more time. We hope that you've enjoyed listening to Empower 360. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, leave a comment in Spreaker, 
Podcast Addict or any other uh, outlet in which you can leave comments and reviews. Love to hear from you. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time. Do what others don't. So you can be what others won't. Do what others can't. Do what others don't. So you can be and have what others can't. Choose. Act. And please. Have the mindset to go out there and pursue happiness. And God bless you.